Uh, the passport is not completely abolished. The issue here is to make it easier for the people between the two countries to travel without hindrance. And so what is happening is that in order to have to, for that to happen, there are people who are not having access to passports. And this is going to then make it easier for those with IDs to be able to travel between the two countries. And the implementation thereof is going to start after the signing of this uh, agreement, which is expected to be signed in February 2023. Following that signing of that agreement, of course, we are also going to have the launch of the Mamuno border post, which was uh, the, the agreement thereof, which was signed today. After that, we will then fast track the implementation of the IDs. We already have the ID in Namibia. Botswana also has, has an ID. It's only a matter of, impl of putting in the data in the systems and implementing the agreement as uh, researched by the two uh, heads of state. Now, Ambassador, our IDs, the one of Namibia and, and the one of Botswana, are they readable? Do we have the technology or the systems that you are referring to both countries to make this process, I mean, to make this uh, agreement a reality? We do have the system, we do have the technology. Namibia has already implemented the, the technology. Botswana has also implemented the, te the technology. It's only a matter of, 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 of finalizing the final touches of this, uh, of the technology itself in terms of sharing data, and then the systems are up to go. As soon as the announcement was made, Ambassador, and this is my final question, other questions also came in with regard to maybe work permits, study permits, and all the other um, documents which are required for trade and people-to-people -people exchanges between the two countries. Will the two countries also look, um, maybe in future, also look into making those processes simpler for Namibians and the Batswana? There were sectors, various sectors uh, represented at this uh, binational commission. Education is one of them. Home Affairs is one of them. And of course, uh, the systems are in place as per the discussion. And all these sectors represented are going to put in, uh, in action the decisions taken at, at this binational commission.